हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टॉपिक फॉर टूडे डिस्कशन इज पोस्टीरियर ऑब्डोमिनल वॉल तो पोस्टीरियर ऑब्डोमिनल वॉल इट एक्सटेंड्स फ्रॉम द लास्ट रिब टू द पेल्विक ब्रिम इट इज कंपोज ऑफ बोनी पार्ट एंड मस्कुलर पार्ट द बोनी पार्ट इज फॉर्म बाय बॉडीज ऑफ फाइव लंबर वर्टिब्रे इन मिड लाइन अब एंड लेटरल बाय द इनर सर्फेस ऑफ ट्वेल्थ थ्रेसिक रिब ब्लो एंड लेटरली बाय एल ऑफ सेक्रम एंड इलियक फोसा The muscular part is formed by swas major muscle, swas minor muscle, quadratus lumborum, transversus abdominis. In the lower part, it is formed by iliacus on the lateral side, whereas on the medial side by the tendon of swas major. The swas major muscle arises from the lower border of transverse process of all the five lumbar vertebrae and by the five fleshy slips from the bodies and intervertebral discs of the lumbar vertebrae after the origin this muscle it runs downwards and laterally crossing the ala of sacrum along the medial side of iliac fossa in the iliac fossa it forms a tendon which enters the thigh posterior to the inguinal ligament in the thigh the tendon participates in the formation of floor of femoral triangle and finally the muscle it winds around the neck of femur and inserts onto the lesser trochanter of femur the muscle is supplied by ventral rami of second and third lumbar spinal nerves when the muscle it acts from above it act as a flexor of hip joint when the muscle acts from below it act as a flexor of trunk when the foot is on the ground it helps in the medial rotation of hip joint and when the foot is off the ground it act as a lateral rotator of hip joint this swas minor muscle this is a small muscle which lies in front of the swas major muscle mostly it is absent the swas minor muscle arises from the bodies of t12 and l1 vertebrae it forms a long flat tendon which inserts onto the pectin pubis or iliopubic eminence this muscle is supplied by l1 spinal nerve this swas minor act as a weak flexor of trunk quadratus lumborum this is quadrilateral muscle which lies between the 12th rib above and iliac crest below this muscle is enclosed between anterior and middle lamina of thoracolumbar fascia this muscle arises from the posterior one third of inner lip of ventral segment of iliac crest and iliolumbar ligament the muscle passes upwards and medially and inserts onto the lower border and interior surface of medial part of 12th rib few fibers attaches to the anterior surface of transverse process of upper four lumbar vertebrae few fibers arise from transverse process of lumbar vertebrae and inserts onto the 12th rib this muscle is supplied by t12 and upper 3 to upper 4 lumbar spinal nerves the quadratus lumborum fixes the last rib and helps the diaphragm during inspiration acting on one side this muscle act as a lateral flexor of tongue acting on both the sides it produces extension of vertebral column thoracolumbar fascia this is also known as lumbar fascia as it is located in the lumbar region this thoracolumbar fascia consists of three layers the anterior layer middle layer and posterior layer quadratus lumborum muscle is enclosed between the anterior and middle layer the erector spinae muscle is enclosed between the middle and posterior layers the anterior layer when traced above it thickens to form the lateral arcuate ligament this lateral arcuate ligament gives origin to diaphragm the subcostal vessels and nerves enters to behind the lateral arcuate ligament below this layer it thickens to form the iliolumbar ligament which is attached to the posterior part of iliac crest medially the anterior layer of thoracolumbar fascia is attached to the anterior surface of transverse process of lumbar vertebrae 
In this region, this layer blends with the swas fascia, which covers the swas major muscle. Laterally, the anterior layer of thoracolumbar fascia blends with the middle layer of thoracolumbar fascia along the lateral border of quadratus lumborum muscle. Middle layer of thoracolumbar fascia. It lies in between the quadratus lumborum and erector spinae muscle. When traced above, the middle layer is attached to the lower border of 12th rib where it thickens to form the lumbocostal ligament. This lumbocostal ligament is attached from the lower border of vertebral part of 12th rib to transverse process of first lumbar vertebrae. Below the middle layer is attached to the posterior part of iliac crest and here it blends with the iliolumbar ligament. Medially, the middle layer is attached to the tip of transverse process of lumbar vertebrae. Laterally, the middle layer blends with the anterior layer at lateral border of quadratus lumborum muscle and it blends with the posterior layer at the lateral border of erector spinae muscle. The posterior layer of thoracolumbar fascia covers the posterior surface of erector spinae muscle and is attached medially to the spines and supraspinous ligaments of the lumbar vertebrae. Laterally, the posterior layer blends with the middle layer along the lateral border of erector spinae muscle. Above, the posterior layer enters to thorax and attaches medially to the spines of thoracic vertebrae and laterally to the angles of ribs. Below, the fascia is attached to the dorsal surface of sacrum and the dorsal surface of iliac crest in a U-shaped manner. The muscles attached to the thoracolumbar fascia are the anterior layer, it gives origin to fibers of diaphragm from the lateral arcuate ligament. From the fusion of anterior and the middle layer, the transversus abdominus and internal oblique muscle fibers rise. From the posterior layer, latissimus dorsi, serratus posterior inferior muscle and few fibers of gluteus maximus muscle arise. Fascia iliaca is a strong sheet of fascia which covers the iliacus and swas major muscle. This fascia has two parts. The iliac part which covers both the iliacus muscle on lateral side and swas major muscle on the medial side. The swas part covers the only swas major muscle above the iliac crest. The iliac part is attached laterally on the inner lip of ventral segment of iliac crest. Along the ventral segment of iliac crest, the fascia iliaca blends with the fascia transversalis of anterior abdominal wall. Medially, this fascia is attached to the ala of sacrum and pelvic brim up to the iliopubic eminence. Superiorly or above, it continues with the twas part of fascia iliaca. Below, the fascia lateral to the femoral vessels is connected to the inner aspect of inguinal ligament. From the inner aspect of inguinal ligament, this fascia blends with the fascia transversalis of anterior abdominal wall. Opposite to the femoral vessels, this fascia it enters to the thigh and forms the posterior wall of femoral sheath. Medial to the femoral vessels, this fascia is attached to actin pubis. The swas part of fascia iliaca is attached laterally to the anterior surface of transverse processes of lumbar vertebrae. At the same level, this fascia blends with the anterior layer of thoracolumbar fascia. Medially, this fascia is attached to the bodies and intervertebral disc of lumbar vertebrae where it forms the tendinous arches. Above, the fascia thickens to forms the medial arcuate ligament which gives origin to the fibers of diaphragm. Below, the fascia continues with the fascia ilia. Structures piercing the iliosuas fascia are anteriorly the genitofemoral nerve, laterally the iliohypogastric and ilioinguinal nerve, medially the lumbosacral trunk, iliolumbar artery and obturator nerve pierces the fascia iliaca. Triangle of Petit. This is a triangular depression above the iliac crest which is bounded in front by the 
posterior border of external oblique muscle posteriorly by the anterior border of latissimus dorsi muscle base is formed by the iliac crest and apex is formed by the joining of fibers of external oblique and latissimus dorsi muscle the floor of triangle is formed by the internal oblique muscle this is a potentially weak area of abdominal wall through the herniation may occur triangle of marcel which is also known as lumbosacral triangle of marcel this is a triangular depression on either side of body of fifth lumbar vertebrae which is bounded medially by the body of fifth lumbar vertebra laterally by the medial border of swas major muscle apex is formed by the junction of swas major and body of fifth lumbar vertebrae the base is formed by ala of sacrum the floor of triangle is formed by transverse process of fifth lumbar vertebra and ilio lumbar ligament the contents of triangle are divided into three strata the superficial strata is occupied by the ureter ovarian vessels in females inferior mesenteric vessels and nerves from the hypogastric plexus the intermediate stratum is occupied by the common iliac artery which divides into external and internal iliac arteries and common iliac vein which joins with the similar vein on opposite side to forms the inferior vena cava the deep strata is occupied by the sympathetic trunk lumbosacral trunk ilio lumbar artery and obturator nerve from medial to lateral side 